Okay, yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And today, we're back on board with the one and only One Shoe Phil. Come on, Phil, show us a bit of energy. <laughs> okay, and today, we're going for a burning lap on the good old design C2. Oh yes, we're gonna see, can we go as fast as a Hobie 16? So we're gonna track one down and give it a race. All right, yeah, so you can move out onto the trapeze. Okay, all right, see, our camera angle just looks a little bit. That's it, and a little bit more. Okay, she's up, and I think what we might do is actually we might jibe straight away. Yep. So you ready? All right, I'm gonna bring the traveler into the middle. Here we go. Oh, and you see you've got a load of ropes just around that block down there. I should just pull them away from that. Yeah, that's better. All right, and do you reckon you could just swivel the camera around? It's just on a swivel. Give it a little polish. Okay. All right, so you get hooked on. Okay, so I'm bringing the main sheet in tight. Support the mast, give us better airflow. 
All right, Phil's just going to start moving out onto the trapeze. And then once he's out, I'll power it up. It's a little bit gusty just where we are here. And then start to move back. All right, I'm going into the speed seat on the trampoline. Are you all good there, Phil? Yeah, man. Okay, here we go. Just sheeting a little bit. 16 knots at the moment, just waiting for a bit more wind. Just arcing it up a touch. Looking for the gusts. The gusts are going to be coming from back here. So that's where we're looking at the moment. As we go faster, the gusts are going to come more from in front. Here we go. Come on, C2. You've got this. All right. We just need a bit more wind to tickle her up a bit more there. There we go. That's nice, 17 and a half knots. Okay, just looking for more wind all the time. That seems to be the flavor. Okay, where is the breeze? That's what the crowds are asking right now. We'd like a little bit more, please. Phil's working very nicely there, out on the wire, keeping the spinnaker loose. But when it curls, just bringing it back in. All right, in fact, I think maybe we'll drop it there, Phil, yeah. and uh, we'll go for another one. So you can come in from the trapeze. Okay, so first is if you take up the slack on the retrieval line, and then I'll release the halyard when you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to release the halyard through the block. Boom, and... Okay, just pull the tack line release there. Okay, and all the way in. Okay, nice job. Okay, so we've put the dagger boards down for this second upwind. And then, all right, I'm moving out on the trapeze. Phil can get out as well. Extending the Melchesky, lovely action, very light, easy to adjust. Okay, jib in tight, downhaul on maximum. We're probably coming in at a fairly good rate. Wait for the F-18. So I'm going to give Phil the countdown for the tack and on zero we're going to go so you can choose when you go in. So, five, four, three, two, one and we're going there. Whoa, ho, ho. The circus is in town. <laughs> nice. Alright, this trapeze is rigged for maximum awkwardness at the pack at this time. Alright, I'm moving back out. looking at the leeward side but never mind I'm sure it's lovely artistic bit of cinema going on down there okay we're gonna bear off just to take out Phil's sister on the aero only in boat speed not 
literally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the speed difference between a C2 and an Aero? There's the Aero just coming into the frame there with Hannah. She's got a GoPro on the head. Maybe we can nick some of that footage for the edit. Nice. So we're going to go for a proper fairway. So if you want to go on, onto the boat now, lift the windward dagger board, then pull the leeward dagger board up. Yeah, it just needs to be straight up, that's it. Okay, and then if you come back to the windward side, and we'll just uh, let off the downhaul first. A little bit of jib and the downhaul. I'm gonna do the high wind bear away, so I think people are gonna like that. Okay, so if you just come outboard a little bit, Okay, so then the high wind bear away. My favourite technique to stay out on the trapeze, bend knees, and then as we bear off, I'm just going to ease the sheet as we come down. Okay, now Phil can bring the tack line out. All the other jobs are done. I'm coming in. Bringing the main sheet in, ready, yeah, you can go for the hoist. Okay, it looks like she's up. So I should just clear this block now, Phil. Yeah. The same one as before. Uh, with this one here. Just get all those other ropes out of the way. Nice. Okay, and we'll go for a jibe straight away again. Right, you ready? Okay, here comes the jibe. Okay, we'll just need to do a rotator cam. Okay, and we've got a pretty much clear path apart from one windsurfer. Okay, so you can come back, get hooked on. Okay, go for it. Okay, so once again, I'll wait for Phil to get out on the wire before we start powering it up. Main sheet cranked. Here we go. I'm moving into the speed seat. Oh yeah, much better already this time. More wind. Oh yes, here we go. Now we're opening her up. This is what the C2 does best. These windy spinnaker runs. It's just like there is no resistance at all. More wind gives us more speed. And that is a fact. All right, a bit less wind there. Oh. It's gonna ease off the main just a touch as the wind's gone a bit light. A bit more wind there, nice. I'm just steering to keep this hole just clear of the water, bringing her up a bit if we need a bit more or down a bit if we need a bit less. Feels very good. We haven't quite done 20 knots. There's just not quite enough wind to really boot it. But I think still, it's nice. Okay, we're coming out of the wind. So if you want to come in and drop it there, Phil. Same as before, if you take up the slack, I'll blow the halyard. Right, you ready? Okay, blowing the halyard there, picking up the stick, Phil's dropping. The spinnaker is going into its little house. Okay, tack line release. Nice. Phil doesn't actually need to be told what to do, by the way. It's just I like to. All right, and before you come out, just the jib sheet on the far side is uncleated. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up. She's gonna get a bit lively as she comes up. 
seating in as we go up. Oh, you might be able to pull the spinnaker in a little bit more still before you come out. Now we will notice at this point, one shoe Phil has not lost a shoe on this outing. That is because the C2 is sophisticated. So I'll just lift her up a little bit as you come out. Nice, just crank everything in. Okay, can we get a bit more jib on? Nice. Okay, when the wind goes a bit light, we'll just go a little bit further forwards. Again, you'll notice we've got the dagger boards up it's because we're not on the race course. We are free sailing. It's official. But the next development in dagger boards is going to be where you can have voice activated dagger boards. So I'd say, uh, with dagger board down and it will go down on a some sort of system that works really well okay we might just go for a few tacks actually all right ready all right so i'll count you down from three three two one and we'll tack there the malcheski tiller extension really good on the tacks you can, because it's so light, you can just really wang it around the back of the boat. And, uh, cam has to be said possibly one of the swiv fastest swivel cam operators we've seen here at well we'd say on holidays all right you can ease the jib out a little bit now because we're going to be going a bit more of a two sail reach okay that's good on the 16 from up here. Have a 
go. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting the channel on Patreon. I really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribed, maybe you want to hit that subscribe button because there'll be more great catamaran sailing action and tutorials coming up soon on Joyriding TV. And thanks very much.